Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. Whatever. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Um, I have no idea what's in here. It was sent by Jake. So thank you very much, Jake, for sending this in. We're going to find out what it is together. As per usual, if it is something that is currently available, it will be linked right down at the top of the description for you guys to check out if you want to. Thanks to my generous patrons who are supporting right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below as well. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right. Uh, we have here, we've got a package that's got a box in it. And then we have, uh, I don't need a knife. <laughs> My hands are so strong, I can tear cardboard. There we go. We have a note. <laughs> there was a package with a box that had two packages in it. <laughs> I was... <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm reading your initial note, and I'm laughing. <laughs> um, and now I'm, let me get into the meat and potatoes here. Oh, we got a couple of things in here. Oh, oh good. You, you separated this info out. Yes, thank you so much, Jake. I appreciate that. And Hey, MC, it's so cool uh, helping you make content. Yeah, man, thank you. Uh, carry it, use, review, and even disassemble if you desire. Very nice of you. I know what these are now. Very cool. Also, this is also my... Oh, okay. I'm not sure if you've held one before. Definitely has a double clutch. Please don't disassemble it or use it. Just... Uh, come yeah, for sure. For sure. No problem. And then... Uh, oh, yeah. Of course. Um, this is uh, Jake's Cool Stuff on Instagram and Jake's Cool Stuff uh, on YouTube with the lava background. So make sure that you guys check him out. He's absolutely sent things into the channel before. So um, let's see here. I am curious about... So this must be the sh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Shiro. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, it is. I want to look at the we'll, we'll open the Shiro in a second. I want to check this out. I have never looked at this. <laughs> Literally never. This is a ZT knife that I have never reviewed. Huh. You know what? That's kind of neat. I know that this is long gone. I know it's discontinued. Boy, this just makes me... <sighs> I, I miss this. I miss this, this um, you know, this time of ZT. <laughs> Insert, like, sad, sad memories, right? Like, uh, <laughs> sad, nostalgic music. Um, but I like, man, this just makes me think back to when I was buying a Z, like I was buying like every ZT that came out. This is cool. I like this. Right. I mean, there's some, there's some issues, but uh, I mean, it's issues that were, you know, like uh, it was like the same type of issues that were always on ZTs back then. Right. So it's crazy to think that that's not ancient, but this is an old knife. Now I remember when this came out crazy. Okay. So this is actually what we had talked about. And a lot of you guys have uh, had messaged me saying, are you going to check this out? Are you going to check this out? Um, so <coughs> this is the Quantum Ursus NL uh, Chromax PM, which I don't know anything about. Um, single row bearing system or SRBS, titanium and wood. Um, so, yeah, look at that. So this is a less expensive uh, Shirogorov Quantum, um, a newer variant that uh, is thinner both in the titanium and the blade stock, I believe. I do own, I think the Quantum is one of the best designs that Shirogorov has ever released. And I also think the original Quantum design is one of the best designs I've ever handled. But I do have the original, this is the um, multi-row bearing Quantum. So you can see here as far as the overall size, uh, I believe we're looking at the same thing. And then dimensions this way, the blade stock appears to be thinner. I think the titanium scales are actually the same. I mean, the handle width is gonna be thinner because they're pinching a thinner blade stock. 
Um, but yeah, the blade stock itself is definitely a little bit thinner. So that's interesting. Action. Boy, it's pretty good for single row. Oof. <laughs> so, so mine's multi row. And I mean, yeah, it's false shot. Hmm. I'm using my special metal complex powers to determine. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I was serious? Like, hmm. I, I got to be honest with you guys. I, I really can't tell much of a difference between um, this single row bearing system in the Ursus and the multi row bearings in my heavily flipped um, Quantum, right? So, wow. I mean, yeah, that's pretty impressive. As far as the details go, I mean, you know, my Quantum is has got a few more details, sure. Uh, the pocket clip area looks very, very similar. Hmm, how about back here in the backspacer? I mean, there's more going on with the backspacer for sure. This is like they're kind of, I've seen how they do this. But it look, I like how this looks though, right? <clears throat> yeah, how's the jimping? Is it in the same? Yeah, it's essentially the same type of deal. There's a few more details on this guy. It's my understanding that the Ursus costs a lot less. I'm really interested to find out about Chromax. Um, I literally have no information for you guys. As far as the face here, I mean, it has an inlay, right? So you could, a lot of people say, well, the one with the inlay is even technically more complicated. I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, this guy's freaking expensive. This is 1100 bucks, right? Now they have a newer version of that guy, but this is like, the NL, the less expensive version. It's very light. I want to kind of want to weigh it. <clears throat> this is not a review. Not a review at all. This would be a terrible sloppy review. If you're new and you're thinking, wow, this guy does a terrible review. Yeah, this would be an awful review, but this is not a review because I just unboxed it. It would make no sense. Uh, where is my scale? Did I... Is it under... Oh, here it is. Jeez. Okay. Let's weigh it. So my... What, in blue blazes? Here we go. So my Quantum, the OG, 4.62 ounces. This new Chromax boy, 4.37. Huh? <laughs> Whole bunch of people are like, finally I can go hiking with the Quantum. <laughs> oh, finally. Yeah, I'm finally not way I can move, right? <laughs> um, okay, so anyways... Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, no matter who you, no matter who you are, no matter what you're looking at in Sugar Grove's line, they're expensive, guys. They really are on another level. Like this is still better than you know any five most five or six hundred dollar knives that I've handled. Like Sugar Grove does a really really good job. They they really are on another level. I mean, you know, it's like people always say, oh, it's just it's just powder steel and titanium. Blah, blah. I reduce the value simply to the materials used, and I like to wave off every other process that's involved with making a knife. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of I gave you all the puzzle pieces there, right? So you know what I'm gonna say. Uh, there's more that goes into stuff like this, right? Than a two hundred dollar titanium frame lock running on bearings, utilizing powder steel. Sure, Groff. There's just more, right? most people aren't going to know unless they handle them. And I was the same way. I remember thinking, bah, how could that, pu how dare they? And then I handled it. I was like, oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, it actually is quite a bit different, right? Big difference between something like this, which is nice, right? What do we got here? S35 VN and Titanium. Nice. Not the same thing as this. Is this worth multiple times more than this? That depends on, I mean, as far as what it costs to make, it definitely costs a lot more to make than this, but whether or not any individual feels the need to spend that much on that knife, right, that's up to them. People aren't spending this much on knives because they're like, I'm getting hundreds of dollars more in utility or ability, right? No, they're buying it for exactly what I'm describing here. There's, there's just more work that goes into it, something that is appreciated by an enthusiast who is purchasing stuff in this territory anyway. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it for today. I'm very excited to um, bring you guys a full, comprehensive review of each of these knives. Thank you so much to Jake's Cool Stuff for 
sending these in for me to take a look at. Make sure to check out his Instagram and YouTube. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I don't like, so check those out. If you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on the Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.